Sippers, welcome to this episode of the Tea With Me podcast with me, Shane Todd. Before we get into the episode, I need to plug Patreon. The Tea With Me Patreon, become an official sipper at teawithme.com. Bonus episode on a Monday, live stream on a Friday. Access to live events like Stars In Your Eyes that we're doing. We're putting them on Patreon before anywhere else. They may well sell out there. We might not even sell them public. I'm also on tour, shanetalkcomedy.com. I'm coming all over the world. Everywhere, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, America, the Middle East, the rest of the UK dates, it's all on there. Some of them are gone, some still have tickets available. And Opera House in November, in the second run there, after a wee sold out run in October this year. Let's first of all go to our sponsor, not go to them, I'll do it. No, <laughs> it's so much handier if we could just go to them. NordVPN, or to you and me, a virtual private network. It's a tool that safeguards your internet connection and enhances your online, I nearly said piracy, privacy. For God's sake, do not be doing online piracy or even in boats. NordVPN establishes a secure and encrypted pathway for your online data traffic. You're essentially doing roadworks for your own safety. This tunnel is impenetrable. Oh, that's class, isn't it? <laughs> Impenetrable. Ensuring that no one can snoop on your internet activities or access your personal data or determine your actual IP address and geographical location. <gasps> you imagine you just had a pop-up. Someone's like, I see you right now looking at looking at 90s babes in your conservatory in Lurgan. It's ideal if you're going on tour to Australia, New Zealand and the United States in the next few months. You know, I know when I'm away, I'll be able, I'm not looking at 90s babes. I know I'll be able to watch Final Score, keep up to date with my Irish League. I'll be able to watch, you know, Barra Best on Badger Beaton, whatever he's up to at the minute. Sippers now can get an exclusive deal when they sign up at nordvpn.com. Tea with me. It's in the description there. You take your cybersecurity to the next level. Take advantage of their threat protection feature, for God's sake. You can get your exclusive deal by going to nordvpn.com. Slash T with me, you get a huge discount off your plan. And every purchase of two year plans receives a bonus month on top. Love that. We're also sponsored by Manscaped, the number one in men's below the belt grooming. Now, you know what Manscaped do by now. If you don't, they have tools, they have I I think it's magic. I think it's magic. I don't know how they've come up with this. But they are a load of, you know, men's grooming products that ensure that you're, let's just say, you know, if people come around and see your house, they go, oh, it's nice. You need to make sure the basement is also looking good. I'm talking about your your pubis region and surrounding areas, the bit in between that sometimes I say is Pyrenees, which isn't what it is, um, uh, your your anus, all all those areas. You know what I mean? Your dick and, your dick and balls and anus. If you want to make sure, if you want to make sure that your your arse and your penis and testicles are looking good, go to manscaped.com. Let them take care of it. They can't do it for you, but they'll send you out all the things you need. They have products you didn't know you need, products you do need. They have beard trimmers, you know, for precision beard. Look at uh, Michael's done his beard over there. He's looking really, really nice. You look like a ranch hand on Yellowstone. He doesn't have any lines. How about that? And earlier on, I told you you look like the white Kano. So that's a good day. That's a good day. Um, I don't have a beard, but if I did, I would definitely use Manscaped's beard trimmer. Go to manscaped.com, use a code tea with me for 20% off and free shipping. All that stuff is in the description. Let us get on, for God's sake, with this episode. My guests are, they've been on before. They, they, they're sort of like, I don't know if you call them, they're podcast partners, life partners. Um, they are two guys that, that really needed to find each other. You know what I mean? I, that's the best way. I don't know who cares for who. I think they sort of care for each other. But they're two very funny guys. They host a Cork in the North podcast. My guests on this week's episode on Tea With Me are none other than Andrew Ryan and Aaron Butler. Please enjoy. Oh, here they are, two nice men. Andrew Ryan, Aaron Butler. Yeah, great to be here. Undecided about staying, both have the coats on. Yeah, yeah. But it's chilly day. It's, win- these, Cold, it's win- it? windbreaker season, buddy. Windy outside. Yeah. Condensation. So, yeah. Yeah. It's environment. Condi- but yeah, yours is more of a. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm? <laughs> so yours is more. Go ahead. Indoor use, I guess, kind of. Right. Indoor use. Why not outdoor? Mm, I just mean you could conceivably be in the house in that. 
Sure. Whereas Andrews looks like an just an outdoor jacket. This is yeah. This is like a gym. This is a going for a jog hoodie. No, you don't go for a jog in it. No, that's mm, look that's at that. Look. Oh, oh, it has yeah, thumb yeah. things. You run faster if you put put the things over the thumb. Well, shave my legs. Nah, I feel stupid, don't I? Um, yeah. You only feel stupid now in that jacket because I don't have the thumb things. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, that's all. That's all that's missing from that jacket. I left my house today, and my neighbours are moving out, and they're loading everything. Why. They're loading everything <laughs> into the van, and as they see me come out of the house, they just give a look to each other like. We've made, We've the, made right the right decision. call. This was a good choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting out the right Because they're thinking about having kids. <laughs> Get you. <laughs> and they don't want a guy next door who would fail a background check. <laughs> I'm feeling very paranoid now in this jacket. You're there, you're there making me feel like... I might take my jacket off. No, it's cool. No. Andrew, how much for you to just this go about loud. all day in Belfast for a day wearing an orange jacket? I wouldn't. I won't. This is too loud. This is too loud for the episode. Okay. I, yeah. Is that okay if I take this off? Yeah, the, that's like a... Like now, what do you think of this shirt? It's like an apprentice ice cream vendor in the 50s. What's that? What's the I like it. it. Like I do ice cream for the Ra? Maybe? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, That's what you said. But no. do we can get us through the wee ball clavis. <laughs> the, the ice cream, cream all over the wee ball clavis. The ice cream. You uh, de-jacket them? I you like it. You sure. de-jacket yeah, if you want. We all get, do you de-jacket as well? Everybody de-jacket. Do you Damn, Mike. De-jacket. Andrew, everything all right? Andrew, can you not get your jacket off? Are oh you no. you're in your forties? Oh no, he needs a man to help him. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no. This is the level that your relationships got to you two. <laughs> oh wow. Aaron, take my jacket off. Okay, I think we're we're free. Nope. There we go. Oh. See my shirt. There we go. <laughs> hey, that was one of the big reveals. Hey, that was the big reveal. That was man. A big reveal. Hey. We've been planning this for months. Hey. Got you. <laughs> hey. This is it, boy. That's you now, isn't it? Hey. Showed you. <laughs> hey. You look Bet like you look stupid. You look like a middle-aged couple who have hey. just gone. Hey, hey, let's just sell ice cream. <laughs> Here we go. Hey. There we go. Here we go. Hey. Here we go. Hey. It's fucking party time. And now you look cool. It. We're going for the Barbie movie yeah. audition after yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sequel. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But but you guys are podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, yeah. Wow. Don't get closer, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what do you think of this? Um, he bought me this. I like it a lot. This. I like it a lot. I think it suits us. Um, he bought me this when you were in where Croatia was it? Uh, no, Amalfi Coast. Amalfi Coast. And he brought it back, but he 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 bought it. Uh, he gave me a small. I'm yeah. a large, so I can't tie it. I can't tie it. So you bought him a button. Um, you <laughs> bought him a shirt when you were away. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about him a lot. So what, what happened was he he did a post on Instagram, and right. I said that's a really nice shirt because I'm going on holiday soon. And he went, oh, it's dead cheap. What's it? What's the whatever the company's called? Sheen Shine. Sheen Shine, one. whatever it's called. And then he came back and he went, bought you, bought you a shirt. And then he bought me a hair product to make the front. The of fibers. My, the fibers to make the front of my head look thick. I'm slowly improving him as an individual. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. He's going through the Butler Academy. I'm going through right. the Butler no, Academy. No one should graduate from the Butler Academy. <laughs> well, drop no. out if you're in the Butler Academy. <laughs> drop out. No, no, he's getting his first degree. No, 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 he's I'm a black belt. Tell me, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a master's. He's getting a ma yeah, yeah. He's graduating with a first degree honors, baby. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm going for a vasectomy next week. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's losing their sperm around me. <laughs> That's why we like it. <laughs> My girlfriend sees this. Fuck. Me. Oh yeah, she will. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> yeah. Hey, babe. <laughs> so uh, just chilling, hey, mate. babe, in those glasses and shirt. Hey, it's yeah. so creepy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're hey, just babe. two guys, you know? That's all it is. Andrew, have you seen the movie Get Out? No. <laughs> You're too deep in. You're the guy who, yeah. like, let me be the guy who warns you. Yeah, right. just like get I out of this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Andrew, you're starting to get respected in the world of broadcasting and radio. People are like, you know, this guy. People say this guy could end up on radio too or something. Mm. He is trying to pull you down to his level. No, I'm going great, <laughs> greatest hits, man. I'm bringing you back to Blast 106. <laughs> oh, shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like them. No, I like. I like my little outfit. No, I'm look, going on holiday to Greece, and I've got, bought a couple of these type of shirts for the holidays. See, great. So you look, you look I'm experimenting, it. Shane. You know, yeah, we're yeah. taking risks, mate. We're taking risks. Yeah. He sends me messages, tells me about where I need to improve. Yes. It's a whole now, process. I took you through some dress code type stuff. Back in the day. A long time ago. Back in the day. But you've not passed on. You're just making him dress like you. What? <laughs> yeah. Dude. See, see if he starts sending you school trouser websites <laughs> and where to get like plimsolls. <laughs> that's a point where you need to get out. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I'd agree with him there. He he looked at me and he said, "You need." 
be slick like Aaron. <laughs> my my <laughs> life's a mess. Uh, but yeah. yeah. What well, I said to you are. He said, like, you know, we need to up my game. Like We do. So you're offering out, like, a program. Are you trying to start, like, a... Yeah, I'm doing, like, a my own version of, like, like a queer eye thing, you know? Uh-huh. Only it's, I'm... It's queer eye for a straight guy, is it? Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm one of those guys. No, not one of those guys, but I'm one of those yeah. guys that are helping other guys. And mm. Andrew's my guy that I'm, I'm helping. I'm his first client. But, it's- Andrew, I'd say you're great the way you're, like, you've got definitely got, like, good quirks. But, you know, you should embrace... What? what? Give me an example of a quirk. <laughs> that yeah. What's that? Yeah. You just you know, you're 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 maybe are a complex guy in a good way. I am very complex. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it's quite a backhanded compliment. He's trying to. Do you know what he is? Simple. He's like slush puppy. That oh. if he was a brand, he'd be slush puppy. Slush puppy's nice. What type of a brand am I? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Horlicks. Dell. You're Dell. I thought it'd be Bosch Drill. Oh. You're not Bosch. Oh, no. Bosch drill. No, no, no. Why, You're like uh, Bosch full drill? fucking force. <laughs> oh. Straight into the wall. Yeah. Hey, babe. <laughs> creating, <laughs> creating, uh, <laughs> cre- cre- creating little dents as I go along in life. Oh. Yeah, yeah, your dent things as you go along. No, I, it's not a great description. <laughs> I've been hmm. fasting today. So, uh, yeah, because you had You're to... You're doing Ramadan. You had to do something. Not this year. Not this year, yeah. He's not this year. It. Uh, what was the fasting for? I'm getting my uh, again a full body check, full health check. You do this every you do we MOT in your body, don't every you? Every year, get all yes. the tests done. I do, yeah. But do you, do do you book that in with a private company? Like, yeah, yeah. I not, go not NHS. Not the public sector. <laughs> the public. You can't get Blood that on NHS. Yeah, you can. I've done it. This guy. I'm hold on, hold on. There's one guy that's getting it. First of all, you shouldn't be getting anything on the NHS. <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> so what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he comes up big hypochondriac just oh, draining yeah. the NHS oh, do you yeah. know it's the easiest way to, I know you want to get a GP appointment same day give me a call I know how to get him I got dropped by my GP why because you moved away but I but I was still in with him for ages yeah but, years yeah. and now all of a sudden I'm going to need to find a new GP it's not you it's me hmm I didn't know GP's Once you move away, for, it's eight, eight to ten miles. You move out of the GP area, you've got to get the next one. But I hate it, because I have, like, you know. Yeah, but when you used to go to your old GP, did you see the same GP all the time? Or did yes. you go into, depends which GP was available well, at the time. I'm talking about, he's my, he's my GP. Right. Or have you got a new GP now? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a free agent. I'm looking for mm. GPs get in touch. You want to hook me Don't up? Don't go to my girl. She's always pregnant. <laughs> always. Your GP's always pregnant. I think just a level always. of disrespect to call her my girl. No, I didn't well, say my, my girl. girl. You did. I said, did I say my girl? Yeah. Well, like, yeah, you don't want to see my girl. My girl's always pregnant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, my, that's my GP. Yeah. I call her my girl. Right. Is that yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My girl pregnant. She's always pregnant. What? She's always pregnant. Always. Right. Not by me, anyway. Yeah. But she's. I, I haven't seen her in 10 years. Right. So you, a is it lucky dip when you go to your surgery? You don't know who For you're going to get? Yeah. yeah, I'm a lucky yeah. dip as well. Yeah, I hate that. You see, but I don't. I don't go that much. So I haven't been to my GP in seven, eight years or whatever. You should. No, no. They don't. Hey, hey. They don't just do physical stuff. No, no. Hey, all right. The balls are warm. These no, days. no, no. Not just physical stuff. Cool. Fit, what well, for mental stuff? Yeah. Do you do mental health stuff in GPs? Hey, mm-hmm. hold on. Cancel this recording. <laughs> I have a lot of appointments. Yo, push up, baby. Get, get me in. <laughs> I'm feeling quite low. <laughs> that's yeah. mad. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, no, 100%. That's, for, that's what you should do if you, if, you know, you, you go to your GP first and they refer you. Mm. Is the way I think it gets done. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you know. But what do you mean you, can get a full, you can't get a full health check in the NHS? Yeah, well, this is what I did. Oh. So hey, life hacks of Andrew. I Listen ring him up. up. I ring him up. So I'm a hy- total hypochondriac, right? Shocker. <laughs> Completely. Yeah. Like insane. Yeah. So I rang no. up one day looking for sleeping tablets, and I said, "No, you're not getting any." And I said, "But sure, like I can't sleep. Like, <laughs> why are they? It's like a good reason to get them. <laughs> but why are they holding them from you? <laughs> what previous history have you got where they're like? So no. I rang up and I said one day, I said, "Can I speak to the doctor?" And they're like, "Why? What's going on?" I said, "I can't sleep. Can I get some sleeping tablets?" So they put me through to the doctor. He rings me back and he goes. Because I want sleeping tablets. He says, "Why that?" He says, "Well, I'm not sleeping. Like, because why aren't you sleeping?" So I said, "A, B, C, D, E, and F." And he went, "That's not. You can't get that. You can't get further in the alphabet." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know there's more. <laughs> so he was like, "No, I don't want to. I'm just not well rested enough to get the G." 
<laughs> if you complete the alphabet, it'll sleep like a baby. <laughs> If I get the W, it's a win. Yeah, W's like six hours. Z, you're like eight hours full sleep. So you phone them up. You go, look, multiple would, reasons why I can't sleep. Wouldn't give me the sleeping tablets. He said. Was he saying you need to work out all those issues why you can't sleep? Well, he kind of said I'd rather talk to you before. Yeah, that seems fair. Yeah, so I, did, I bypassed that. Right. So then I rang up. So I've sometimes I'd ring up. Now I don't. Can I just say like I'm not ringing every day, mm-hmm. right? So I'm not like. Yeah. you know taking up space in the service but maybe once or twice a year yeah. which I think is fair right. for a foreigner um, <laughs> uh, so I Aaron, Aaron doesn't <laughs> hear some of his beliefs <laughs> I'll tell you after. so anyway um, I rang up one day and I was I, uh, so what did, what did you end up doing about sleeping tablets or you, is this still on the sleeping tablets no I used a uh, night all now yes they're great yeah herbal ones a oh, dr- no, is I, it a drink or a herbal? tablet herbal <laughs> Is it a drink or no, a it's a tablet. Tablet, take two. Don't go. Not hard. good. About an hour and a half before you go to bed. What do you have trouble? Just makes you a bit more chilled. I had trouble sleeping last night. I haven't slept. Really? really? I probably slept an hour last night. Why? What's up? No. Man? Yeah. Why? What's going on? I just think about stuff. Here's what happens, right? I go to go sleep, and my brain goes, "You're about to go sleep. You should probably wake up." That's what ha- my brain goes. You're too. You're not. You're not busy enough. My brain goes. I'm very busy. Sugar. You know what? I've cut a lot. I've cut lots of sugar out. Swear. Cut sugar. Cut caffeine. What about screens and all? You're always on your That's screens tough. and your devices. That's a big one. What about get a nice book? Why don't you get reading? You want to get you a nice book? I get sure. you a nice book. Yeah, Thomas the Tank Engine. An hour before bed or something. You could. I'll give it a go. So you couldn't sleep last night? No, but that that's pretty regular for me. Had the best night's sleep on Sunday though. Took a night off. I was conked a quarter to ten last night. I was in bed. But you're up past at five night. in the morning every morning. So. Yeah. Here's what I did last night because I love sleep so much. You do. I was emceeing at Lavery's. Brilliant. For people who don't know, the MC starts the night, cl- does bits in between and closes the night. You're doing material here, there and everywhere. You're introducing the acts, blah, blah, blah. What I don't like is having to go on after the headliner just to go, guys, thank you very much. Give it up for everyone you've seen so far. Name check everyone back next week. See you later. So if I'm emceeing at Lavery's, there's a caveat. I go, whoever's headlining, Wrap up the night. You get a home forty minutes earlier. See by the time Willie had finished his set, we Willie Winky. Yeah, brilliant. Sleep, love it. Like a white cat in front of a fire. Like what are you sticking around for? I know, just to literally name check everyone mm. and then move on. Yeah. So mm. you phone up. So uh, about six months ago, I was getting chest pains. Obviously, thinking to myself like, oh god, straight away. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, I'm dying. Yeah. Kind of thing like, right? Hypochondriac kicking Complete in. Complete hypochondriac. And then that anxiety breeds more anxiety. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's a vicious cycle that you get. Mm. So I rang the doctor. I went down in and said, look, i am got terrible anxiety, but I have chest pains and I'm worried because I take meds anyway. Like, Anyway, went down, met him. He said, right, Andrew, look, it sounds pretty good crazy stuff so he did it did it <laughs> sounds pretty crazy like, that's his that's his, that's his medical official term. thing yeah whatever it was it sounds like it's crazy this shit's pretty fucked crazy, up bro right? pretty crazy stuff I'm trying to get the timeline right so anyway he then they did a thing on my chest anyway and they came back and they found a little uh, regular movement so they said you need to get it fully checked so I went into the Ulster and they did bloods and they put me on a treadmill and you walk freely fast and you sure start it running pure jumper? <laughs> you know like you start running and then they oh, all hooked up to everything. They hooked up to everything. Yeah, <gasps> checked everything. Like fifty cent in the in the, uh, in, in the club. In the video? club. Yeah. yeah. So I'm hooked, hooked Andrew up. upside down. <laughs> <laughs> this do rag. <laughs> <laughs> What's you that? Are, I've not seen it. Ah, uh, you'll you'll have it's one soon. I'm not into rap. So. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into Serious? Rap. That's crazy. <laughs> like that? No way. Look at me, mate. Hey. <laughs> the rap guy. I look at you. I think Rockefeller Records. I think Death Row. <laughs> um, West Side. Story. <laughs> 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 so I go down, I do all that, and then I go home, and they come back to me a week or two later with the results, and they say, "Yeah, you're fine." And I'm like, "I don't think I am." Um, <laughs> yeah. What? I love how you're telling him. Yeah, you know, yeah he's yeah. telling so you. I don't good. think I don't think I am. So yeah. you want second opinion? So I ring up again, and I go, "Listen, went for those check those checks. Uh, absolutely buzzing." Uh, you say I'm kind of cool but I'm still having a lot of pain uh, I'd like for some further investigation so they only checked a few arteries in my chest so they said they'll do the rest you want all of them so I want I said I want the f- you know the way you get a car service you get an MOT for 70 quid yep then you get like a half a, then you get like a half 
the interim service, then you get the full service. Yeah. So can I go to the full service? You felt like you'd just been at Halfords for a quick. Yep, everything's yeah. good. Yeah, they did a the oil. Service. They did an oil check. Yep. Oh, wow. They didn't, but they didn't do battery check. They didn't do. Yep. You know, a, a timing belt. Yep. Mm. They didn't do that. So I said, would it be a problem? Because I'm, I'm really anxious about this. So they said, yeah, we went down. So the next, so I went into, you know, the big machine. I was, I was in it big two weeks ago. Or oh, and you MRI. Go in, you go to the tunnel. Yeah, yeah. And half MRI. your body's in it. Yep. Panicked in that to come out. That's ready. I panicked. <laughs> yeah, I so out. what did you, how did you signal like I need to get out? Get me out. <laughs> <laughs> to show it at him. How, how soon into going into it did you Straight start away. to have the... So what happened was, have, have you ever done it in the, in the Ulster? Yeah, I was, right. I was not in the Ulster, but I was in, I got an MRI a month ago. Right, so I went in, lovely staff there, really good, go in. They go, right, Andrew, you're going to lie in it. You're going to go in. Uh, you're going to be in there for, what, like 10 minutes or something? 10, 15, 10, 12 oh, minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be very noisy. Um, but we're scanning everything, brain, the whole lot. Um, and I was like, yeah, buzzing, delighted to be here. Uh, lay down on the thing. And, and then they go, right, they kind of, they can give you earmuffs as well, you know, because the thing's so going to go, right, we're going to push you in. I was like, yeah, brilliant. As soon as we went in, I went, no, no, out, 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 <laughs> out. Need to just double check a few things. So I, I came out and I had the deck there, like, come on. I was, out, I was like, out, out. So I looked in. I just want to have a quick look down the tunnel. Just want to see it, like. So think Pennywise is waiting on you. <laughs> I was just like, come I was on in, really Andrew. panicking, like. Yeah. So I went in, went in again, and I did this whole arms across my chest and I had the like ear water slide. On. I just went right it's fine but if I close my eyes I can't I get claustrophobic yeah, you yeah. know yourself like it's right up to you and like it's okay half your body's out it only takes a few seconds but, you know once you go in just sit there and relax and breathe and just think happy thoughts whatever like and I'm like yeah okay went in again uh, did about two minutes and I went out 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 <laughs> so I came out again uh, but there was an underlining reason why I was getting panicked do you see what I mean? There's, yeah. a, there's a reason. Is my mom died of cancer, and before she died, she had to do a lot of these things. Right. And I would go with her, and I associated that with my mother's health. Do you see, oh, okay, do you see okay. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's not just me being awkward. Yes, like, it's, or it's, or a, it's a trigger for me. Yeah, like, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I said to no, it's fine, it's fine. So they gave me some water, and I went back in again, and I did six minutes, and I said, look, that's all I'm doing. And they went, you did brilliant. And they said, they say one in three people won't go in. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Did all that. Then I went back up to the Ulster. Did a load of bloods up to another ward. Did a load of bloods. Um, they did x-rays on my spine, my chest, every single thing. Then they rang me two days later and I went, you're in great health. Well, that's great. That's great. Not what you wanted to hear. Not, no. <laughs> Not what he wants to hear. <laughs> He's fuming. He needs to know something, <laughs> yeah. something's up. So then I didn't dispute that one. I went, I'll trust that one. <laughs> okay. You trust that one. Yeah. I, I, and I, that actually... Because they told me I was in great health, that lowered my anxiety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go. I have another issue with the GPs. So I have two GPs. Right. I've one in Cork and I've one up here, and they both. That is, but I genuinely disgrace. Right. Really. But they both supply me with the same meds. So you're doubling up. No poppers. Listen to this, right? <laughs> so I ring up my surgery here and I go, "Can I get me regular prescription?" Right. Yeah. <laughs> I only just got that. That was the most. That was the most married couple thing that you guys have ever done. You told them off like that with the wee head to the leg. <laughs> <laughs> He's the worst. <laughs> Trump. I'm telling me story. You can't bring him anywhere. <laughs> so one who's one so. Good tell. Uh, anyway, uh, I rang up my, my GP. <laughs> Definitely a tunnel. You can bring him in there. I rang up for you know for the the, the, the GP prescription. I said, "Oh, can I get me regular? Uh, uh, get me regular." You're not in the pub. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And they normally send it to me pharmacist, and I go down to me pharmacist, right? Mm. But the GP rang me back and he goes, "Listen, we're sending you out like um, sixty days worth of tablets, but you've not been in touch for one hundred and twenty-one days. So, what? It, or ninety days? He says, so have you? Are you not?'" Are you just taking them willy nilly? Like, yeah. There's a gap of 30 days. There, you're supposed to be taking these every day. I said, I have another supplier. I have another guy <laughs> down in Cork yeah. that's giving me meds. Yeah. So when I go down to Cork, I get a top up off him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I actually have, I actually said to him, like, well, I'm, I'm getting 60 off you, but I actually have 120. Yeah. And he's like, oh, right. And I goes, yeah. I said, is that all right? Yeah. Like, am I okay to have two of you on the go? <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, no, you got to commit. Yeah. And he was <laughs> like, no, he was like, no, no, that explains it. I said, look, can you put a note on the system there so I don't want this again? Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm feeling great now. I'm glowing. <laughs> so, you have like a monogamous. It, yeah. Is that monogamous or is that the opposite? Polyamorous. You have a polyamorous relationship pharmacist with, relationship. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? See, the, the last time I was in getting the MRI, 
I was sitting in, you know, you wear the, like, what, do you, what would you call it? The gown. gown. The gown. The gown. You're wearing yeah. a gown. So I go in there and it's all a bit like, everything's so quiet. Yeah. And you go and they're like, after you get it done, they go, if you want to go and change, you know, and you're, at, there's like three wee cubicles to go and get changed, but they're fairly open and everything's really quiet. There's wee receptionists. What? Are you naked under the gown? Like yeah. no boxers? Oh yeah, uh, boxers, boxers, boxers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. boxers <laughs> you right. said no, which makes me think you went I, cock I, out. I can't remember, but no, it was, I think it was boxers. Right? You're not fully naked, no. No. Ah, okay. um, That's weird. So I go in, I'm getting my clothes back on, mm -hmm. and I'm also they give you an injection of buscapan in the one I'm getting because they're doing MRI on my bile. What's buscapan? Buscapan is a drug that like lets cams, you see cams your stomach in it and your bowels. Like, yeah, so it like already? stops your bile from moving. Do you get cramps and stuff? It settles it. Yeah. But they gave you it for an MRI so that they can get a clearer picture of it, right? Oh. So it's just a, it's just an injection goes into your arm. Okay. But they said after you might experience like dizziness and a bit of like blurred vision. See, anytime anyone says anything like that to me, I assume you're not going to like. This is like you know I'm like this when I got circumcised. And not to bring it back to this when I got circumcised, I went whatever you do for about four or five days, just stay on the sofa. And I went, they probably just say that. And I went for like a four mile walk and then. <laughs> It wasn't but good. they have to say that though. <laughs> yeah, because I think they're doing that. I'm like, yeah, okay, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, I have all this blurred vision after. <laughs> I'm shit, I'm freaking out. And I'm taking ages. And I just want to get out of there. I've just had the MRI. I just want to get out of there. Get a WhatsApp on my phone from Paddy Barnes. Olympic boxer, Paddy Barnes. Yeah. And it was a couple of weeks after that football match we played against the Man United Legends. And I, it's it's a video. And it's me and I can see the thumbnail, me and Yap Stam. So I go, he goes, my mate sent me this, thought you might like it. And I was like, fuck, they've done like, here it is, like a wee compilation of me. You know, I made my own compilation. I went, the fans are doing compilations of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hit play in that room. Oh, no. You know oh. those videos people saying? With, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, my dad falls for every day. <laughs> every day I hear in his house that sound. <laughs> yeah, man. And then him just going, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm going, they've heard that the receptionist and whoever's out there has heard that. Oh. And they think, I cannot wait to watch porn. But I've run in all blurry-eyed being like, I still need my porns. And, and I don't know whether to address it or not. And I'm like, I'm going to have to say something. I'll make a joke out of it. Receptionist about 55. I get my clothes on really quickly. Get out. There. Get my clothes on quickly and get out there to show no boner, right? I get out there, go up to the receptionist on my way out. I went... Paddy Barnes sent me. <laughs> That's the worst. I know, I know. But wait, I said, Paddy Barnes sent me a video there. You probably thought I was watching something I shouldn't be watching, but it was just he sent because I scored a goal. And then I said, like a lion bastard. I, go, I scored a goal against Man United a few weeks ago there. Yeah. Um, yeah, too it's just, it was, I thought it was me playing against Man United, but it was just. An, and she went, I didn't hear anything. Man. Yeah. She didn't even hear anything. It'd been less weird if you just went. I, I was watching full I porn. I literally there. went up to her and went, I watch I wasn't watching porn. Yeah. So when I walked away, she's clearly <laughs> yeah. telling all the nurses. Yeah. How we fell I was watching porn. She there. and Todd loves watching porn. Oh blurry eyed. Couldn't yeah, even yeah, get yeah. out of the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No stomach. I was blurry eyed movement. for ages after that. What and then that's ours? when I thought I had the 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 heart flutters. I did have heart flutters, but mm. then I was just caffeine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the this is the benefit of like a like a close relationship with your GP, you know, a little bit of yeah. direct line. Yeah. I go, brother, I'm getting hard flutters here real bad, mm. real bad. Mm. And um, I don't know what to do. And he's like, we'll hook you up. We'll get you all the machines. We'll do all that. Yeah. And then he goes, a few things to think about. He goes, do you have like anxiety? Are you worried about anything? I go, no, not like, not right now. See, I'd have a different answer there. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, that'd yeah. That'd be a full day of his yeah. timetable. Yeah. Yeah. So I go, no. And then he goes, what about caffeine? And I went, not really, like. He goes, you drink much tea and coffee? I go, three, four coffees a day, eight, nine, ten, twelve teas. Mm -hmm. He goes, try, in the meantime, of us getting you all the appointments, he goes, try not having any of that. Mm -hmm. Next day, switch to decaf, old ticker's going to crack. <laughs> <laughs> and I got my, so today I went down to Randox. Now, this is not a sponsored thing. It's not an advert. Um, but they, And I go every year where they test Every, so you do urine, blood sample, you stand on those like mad scales and hold the wee things mm. as if you're like, you know, doing green screen for like a Mortal Kombat game or something. <laughs> and um, do you know what my metabolic age is? I would say 23. 
27 would be mental if it was 23. I don't know. My, 27. Like, you know what yeah, you're like. My good. body is 27. Yeah. Your head is 35. Yep. My head's oh, older. No. <laughs> I'm heart rate. Is. 47. Resting heart rate's 47. And I am six foot. I am six <laughs> foot. This <laughs> has been disputed for so long. Yeah. Official confirmation. Yeah. Socks and shoes off. Yeah. Six foot. I'm five nine. On the button. Are you? Yeah. Really? Five nine and a half, yeah. Mm. Is that where your anxiety comes from? Because you're five nine? And a half, it's yeah. the half. The half. Because he doesn't know if he's... You what, write that up to ten. Would you? You're six yeah. foot. Yeah, you're six foot. Six, six foot. Six foot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm six foot. <laughs> yeah, cool. Now, I identify as a six foot. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, me too. You're a wee hypochondriac guy too. Maybe sometimes. Not yeah. as bad as this guy. Oh, it's bad. This guy's bad. But depend, it depend. I also... I go through phases where... Like, as soon as I get one symptom, I Google it and I go, dead. That's me yeah, dying. Dead. Right, right. Yeah, but yeah. then... I never Google anything. I barely know. I, no. I, I swear, up until about a year ago, I realized I've been sp- spelling Crohn's wrong. <laughs> so I've been writing it in forms. I have no idea. You have Corona. People go, people go what, is, what, real, what is Crohn's disease? And I go, I don't really know. And people, yeah. th- people go, God love me, spitting on a brave face. Yeah. Yeah. I do not really know. Ignorance it's an autoimmune disease. I know that. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's autoimmune disease. Yeah, your body just works differently. No point in googling. You Google anything, you'll get symptoms yeah. that match up. Like for if I have a pain in my leg, it has to be yeah. amputated. Yeah, mm. you know that kind of thing. It's my, just fucking the head. The head is bad. But the thing about going to Randox and going to your GP and all that, what people don't realize. Oh, look at you, healthy guys, like clogging up the fucking system. And all, that's bullshit, right? Because prevention is better than cure. Oh, definitely. It is better go. to f- to be reassured. And to prevent an illness, than it is to be treated for an illness. But n- I'm not getting into like a serious thing, and definitely a thing I don't know a lot about. But I remember I'm not. I don't want to keep mentioning Randox because then it feels like I'm, companies like that. Mm. But certainly they're the one I know of. We're trying, I think, to say to the government years ago, if we did the test I got done today, tests like that on the whole population, it would cost so much money. But the preventative mm-hmm. side of that would be massive. Yeah. yeah, prevention's key. That's why I've been getting my prostate checked Daily. for like 20 years now. Huh? Hmm? But so you're only 30. But prevention's key, mate. So since you've been 12? Uh, yep. Whatever you're into. I asked like, for it. I said, look, it's better to prevent it. Yeah. It's better to just, it feels bouncy to me, but you check. <laughs> and then my prostate check them I can't wait till you start getting piles mate oh here or good luck hem- or hemorrhoids and that thing you'll, I tell you. you'll lose your mind when you that start thing. getting them you'd have to get something out of it to get piles but if you go into an A&E on a Saturday night mm. and say there's 30 people in A&E yep. and you went around and asked every single one oh, of them why are you here you, that is your ideal job yeah, yeah. your ideal job just to be like a sh- in a high and I go to the go can I ask you oh. why you're here slipped when I was drunk why are you drinking yeah, oh, yeah. No, 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 no. yeah. why are you drinking oh. <laughs> Stop. if you didn't drink you wouldn't be here next yeah. why are you here I remember during um, during COVID like near the start of it I I was chatting to Dave and he's like well what are you at today I was like oh I just went for a run there and he goes don't be at that and I went <laughs> What do you mean? He goes, what if you fall and hurt yourself straining the NHS? And he sent me a thing and it was like, it, it basically was a list of things you shouldn't do and one of them was parkour. I was like, it, fuck God, love the guy who yeah. lets off steam who has nothing else in his life bar a bit of parkour and he's going to do that an hour a week and they're like, don't you do that. To be fair, I'm Dave Salter. I'm sending him that saying, don't you do parkour. Yeah. Like, you, do, you do parkour. My dentist would say to me, don't, do parkour. don't eat food. This is a dentist I had up until I was about 21. And he would say, not ironically, not trying to have banter. After, Because I went to him from when I was a young kid. He just kept saying it as habit at the end of every appointment. He would go, don't be climbing any trees. If he'd done like, you know, surgery or anything, you know, if he'd, mm. if he'd given you like gas or anything like that. Vertigo or something. He'd go, don't be climbing any trees. Yeah. He climbs over his teeth. He, ah, he like <laughs> chews the branch and swings it. Very strong jaw. Yeah. Yeah. I do have a strong jaw. Yeah, but yeah. Um, <laughs> if you think about it, every That's single every thing. single thing that you do in life is a potential drain on the NHS. Anyway, absolutely. Well, you yeah. get into your car, you have an accident, you go to the hospital. Yeah. You you but you go to a restaurant, you eat food, you choke, you call an ambulance. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like so, yeah. you can't live your life being scared. Oh, oh, if you do that now, that's going to cost the government. What if it goes wrong? Like, can you, you can't give do that. Yourself? Like, can you not just give yourself that yeah. advice? Yeah, give Pat. No. Yeah, tell Pat Andrew that. <laughs> tell you when you walked in here this morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're just doomed. <laughs> no, I'm very You're afraid to take your coat off. No, <laughs> I couldn't even take my coat off. 
<laughs> Can I just say, no, I'm a very happy man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> People think that I'm like all doom and gloom. I am very approachable. Do you know yeah. what? And do you know what really, what I really enjoyed, and you'll back me up on this because I said to you, yeah. when we did Olympia a couple of weeks yeah. ago, great day. I didn't think that would be your bag. You know, going down to Dublin really early, uh, going for a swim, going to have lunch, making a bit of a day out of it. In my head, I went, Andrew's probably going to say, you know, listen, man, I'll see you. I'll see you at about six at the venue. And I'd have been like, yeah, no worries. Me and Willie would have went. But I was so delighted that you got involved in the day. We had a, a yeah. day of fun. And I said that to you, didn't I? I was like, we had the best day and I'm so glad. You did. And I said right back to you, this guy loves nothing more than just being included in something. Yeah. Being a part of... A I love it. You like, pl- you like a, an event, like a... Yeah. I like love being thing. part of something, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but I also... How easily could you join ISIS? <laughs> <laughs> Very easily. <laughs> Give me two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know a guy. No, Your flights wouldn't be delayed anyway. <laughs> oh. you uh, the... But could, yeah, I really enjoyed that day. <laughs> I really enjoyed that day, I must admit, because it was, it was something different. And like the thing is, I like doing stuff with people but I only like, but I like doing the right stuff. What's the wrong stuff? <laughs> like devil worshiping? What you, what, <laughs> no, but like, like if you said to me, like, if you, said to me, do heroin. if you said to me, do you want to go bowling? I'm like, no. Whoa. Oh, you don't like bowling? Cause there's a big, this is a this big. This is a very bowling no, heavy. There's room. a lot of bowling boys in here. A lot of. I don't bowl. I know, yeah. yeah. Ironic yeah. for the way we're dressed like two pin pals. <laughs> Two people that just met up for the first time, yeah, yeah. writing to each other. In LGBT, no, but like it's just a bit like bowling. Yeah, fine, fair enough. But if you wanted to go for a few games of pool and a coffee, I'd definitely do that. But there's certain things like if you said to me, "Well, sorry, sorry what's it's so really hard to work out your yeah. system." Yeah. yeah, you're like, I'm not gonna fucking bowl with you, but if you want to play pool, I'll play pool. <laughs> yeah. Bowling's fucking. Yeah, you have to get a stick and bowl. It's if you're not bowling, it's fucking shit. Pin- uh, do you know why? Because when you bowl, I 100 percent know bumpers up. No, bumper's down, mate. Nah, nah, get, nah, nah, nah. I'm going over to other lanes. It's going that fast. Got bowling ball is unreal. But I just no, I don't get it. Nah, bowling's great. Don't get it, mate. Bowling's good fun. And bowling is really good me. fun. Fucking, oh, yeah. six. Ooh, four. But it's making fun of your mates when they're missing all. That's yeah, the best part. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe it's the people I'm going with. It's wrong. Yeah, you need yeah, to go yeah, off yeah, the crew. Go on your own. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come we'll, with us. We'll, bring you, we'll do a Patreon episode where we bring you bowling and, and try to convince you how good it is. Can we do, for Patreon, can we do a bowling invitational? And the we'll, bowling we'll people like us. I'd say they'd be up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we do that? And that'd be kind of easy enough to film, wouldn't it? Just put a GoPro on the lane. Two GoPros, one looking up the way, one looking back the way. When yeah. do you ever worry about? Hey, we're not, we're <laughs> yeah. Me and you be on a team. Yes, we've already got, we've our got our shirts. We've got our shirts. Right, don't okay. Get you one of these. We get you one of yeah. these. Why don't we do a fucking pod, the podcast? <gasps> the, have we like just you playing your teams of podcasts? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have the mud blood, have a team. mud blood versus Cork in the North. Yeah. Tea with me versus bomb squad. Bomb squad. Yeah, fucking. This yeah. would be so good. And then yeah. that'd be the semi finals. Then be who goes into the finals? Yeah. Who's the best commentators? Commentators. Yeah. Hey, this all started with me by saying. Don't like bowling. Yeah. Now look at it. <laughs> Doesn't like bowling now. Now find a tournament. Is all for you. <laughs> hey, 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 chief executive of he the Bowling Association so of Podcasts. <laughs> I like to be part of this. I like to be part yeah, of this. He likes to be part of something. Yeah. Andrew, do you? Does he know about the photo? Oh yes, he does. He what? Does. So last you know Friday. About this. Yeah. Your don't worry. Don't worry. Last Friday. Remember your troubles oh, man. last Friday. Um, Aaron texts me. And said, um, <laughs> "Hey, you'll love this." <laughs> yeah, and I said, "What yeah. is it?" Yeah, yeah. He basically said, "Andrew's been delayed like four times or something." He was delayed about eight hours at this point. Uh, He's was, been de- at was, this point. It was like four hours. You I went- was delayed five and a half hours. Five hours. Right. He goes, "Andrew's been delayed multiple times. He's missing a load of gigs in London tonight. I know you'll love this." <laughs> and I didn't love it until he said, "My auntie's on the flight," and took a candid picture of him. And when that picture came through, and we'll put it up, I'll send it to the guys. <laughs> I it takes like you know when like you say like LOL or you do laughing faces on WhatsApp, and you don't really, you didn't really, you know, you're just like oh that I acknowledge that is funny. I laughed so loud we all when did. I saw that we all did. because if your auntie had tried to set that up and went, Andrew, pretend to look gutted on the plane and we'll send it to Aaron. You couldn't have done it anywhere near as well. Yeah. You look doomed yeah, in the picture. Yeah, that's a heartbroken picture. guy. Your, your spirit is broken and your heart's broken. Yeah. yeah. And the head was just sunk. Yeah. Getting all got off the plane and everyone looking, I was walked off the plane Stormed and disgusted. off the plane. So I heard you asked to leave the plane. Yeah. He had to make a snap decision, didn't you? Yeah. 
he was given he had a time frame if he was going to make the gig not make the gig and he was like I gotta I gotta do what's best for me mm. oh sorry was there an option to get off I did, yeah ah, I mean, the, I way, the way he told me you stood up and were like get me off the flight I did well I we not, did. didn't say it that loud but I said to someone like I want to get off and they went do you want to get off and I went where I want to get off like yeah. get the steps what were you in longer get the steps. <laughs> <laughs> he's on the DLA <laughs> So, so Swiss port had to bring the steps over for me. So I had to get three staff. So I'm so only from Switzerland. Would you want to hear what happened? Yeah. Right. I can tell you the story of the day. Yeah. Oh, play, no, tell, give him the, the good version of it. Yeah. Right. So I woke up in good faith. Right. <laughs> As I always do. I'd gone to the gym. I and I crawled up to the deck. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's me. I, was, I, f I, felt, I felt like I was glowing. Okay. I was in a good space. Well, you, you're about to go over for a weekend of shows. I'm going over for four shows. Entertain the people of London. Okay, can I just say something as well? Absolutely. I get a message off him on the Wednesday. Yes. So we'd done Olympia the previous week. Mm -hmm. Now, when I get bookings for gigs, I always honour them. I don't want to be, I'm not a councillor. Yes. That was my fourth gig. Fourth gigs. Four gigs I've missed <laughs> in 14 years of being right. a comedian. I'm not a councillor. <laughs> right. I'm reliable. My trip advisor as a comedian is five star like. Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. With promoters, right? Have them. Anyway, um, I get to the airport, I, I, I check in and fucking flight to half past two, Belfast City Gatwick. My aim is to get there for half 11, half, half one, uh, boarding at two. I check it, it's delayed till uh, half four. So that's fine, I'm not on stage till 10 o'clock. So I stay at home for a while, get to the airport around 20 past two, get in, still delayed. I said, that's grand, look, these things happen, do a bit of work and blah, 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 right? Anyway, 20, half past four then moves to half five, it's just dragging on then it's quarter to six then it's fucking 20 past six and I'm like what the hell is going on was there any other flights headed to different airports in there London there was one going to Heathrow yeah there were all, all every, every other flight was going except this one of all the flights <laughs> I had to jump on another one right the Heathrow one was sold out there was a Luton one going but it was but it was going around quarter half six quarter to seven something like that which meant well I might as well just get my own Gatwick one there was yeah. no there was no there was no benefit to me like yeah Anyway, we get on the plane anyway. I'm like, it's fine. I'd been in touch with the promoters, like, and I'd said, like, it's grand, you know, I'll still be there. I'm on stage at 10. Get on the plane at, like, uh, 20 to 7. I'm thinking, right, if we take off at 7. Get on the plane at 10 to 7, something like that. If we take off within 15 minutes, because you've got a taxi, land at 10 past 8, get to the train at half past 8, an hour into central London, I'm in for half past 9. Bang, I can make stage time 10 o'clock. But I have a duty of care, like, to the promoter, like, to give them time, like, to find a replacement. We got on the plane, I'm sitting down, window seat, cramped in, right? <laughs> Fellas around me, oh, yeah. you know, sitting there, you like, the pilot comes Very on, he goes, listen, uh, we've no slot to land in Gatwick, so we could be here for an hour. Sure, the place goes fucking mental, like. People are shouting out, give us free tea and coffee. Oh, yeah. There was a family, of husband and wife and two kids, got up, got off the plane. Go, I think they were going Legoland. Mm. So, so everyone's pissed off. No, it's not the staff's fault, right? Yeah, the, ex the yeah. reason we were told we weren't flying was there was a, there was a, an air traffic control issue in Gatwick, which is bullshit, because you cannot be delayed for six hours on an air traffic control when every other fucking plane is going. Mm -hmm. We got on. The pilot came on and said the reason we were delayed was because the plane broke. <laughs> <laughs> the plane broke. That's true. Not what you want to hear. <laughs> the plane broke, so they had to get another plane. Yeah, yeah. that's so not broke. That wasn't broke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that is the thing. So anyway, anyway, I'm sitting down. I'm agitated. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I'm agitated, <laughs> and I'm calculating the timings. Yeah. yeah. And then there's trains from Gatwick Airport into London were delayed as well. So I taken a risk. So I said to rang the bell. I, this fella come over I said listen how long have I got before I need to make a decision to get off this flight and he goes well you are free to go I said I know that but I said when are we going like, and he goes look you've got 10 minutes to make a decision and I went right okay so if in 10 minutes I make 3 phone calls and everyone around me is listening to my calls and I'm going listen man I, yeah but if I'm landing at 10 past 8 or 20 past 8 and by the time I get to the train like, it's going to be so tight and like you need to get a replacement like somebody has to make a fucking decision here yeah yeah so I said right I'm off I'm going on so I man came down again and said, I want to get off. So he comes down. I said, get the steps. I said, get the steps. Right. <laughs> I, I want, want to go home. I want to go home. You were more bored at the first time. Oh, man. I'm so fucking angry. <laughs> so so they, I, get, I get my bag and I walk up to the front of this plane. 
Is and I'm very. This, now it's nothing to do with the staff. I actually feel for the staff here. Like it's not the staff's issue. Yeah. Probably. But as I'm up at the front of the plane, they're saying, right, have you got this all your luggage? Because we have to do a security check. And and what seat were you in? Because of whatever insurances, whatever. They have to deplane me or whatever. Like. <laughs> He was, playing you. But that's what, there's, something, there's something to do with that anyway. Yeah. Anyway, fucking. You're being deplaned. You in the photo, you look like a man who just been deplaned. So I'm standing up at the front. <laughs> I'm waiting being for, I'm waiting for Swissport to put the the steps up. So they said it'll be about five minutes. And then as I'm at the front, all I hear is Andre. You're gonna miss a gig, guy. And I'm like, I didn't. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fucking amazing. Like, there's about two hundred people staring at me now. Right. I'm like, I'm not even gigging here. Like, and I was like, fuck sake. And then all I hear is. Andrew, <laughs> yeah, I'm Aaron's auntie. <laughs> uh, I'm at the front of the plane now. So now the crew are looking at me going, do you know where I, I, yeah. <laughs> And then my phone fucking pings. <laughs> and I'm going, Butler, what the fuck? And there's a picture of me, which I'll give you to put up. And I'm just standing at the front of the plane like this lot. And what was what was the message I attached to it? Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so the doors open, right? The doors open. You just jump, there's no steps. You do, I'm, I'm fucking hulking this thing. <laughs> the doors open, and as I'm going, the doors open, Swiss port people are there, you know, with their earphones and whatever things they have on, right? Listening to Dre. <laughs> right. And uh, I just turned around to the staff and went, well, thanks very much for everything. <laughs> and I walked in, right, and I walked in, it was pissing rain on the Friday. So this, we're, we're talking now, like, what are we? Well, half seven, 20 past seven at this stage. Yeah. And it's pissing rain, and I, I said, I'm not giving any taxis any money. I'm not paying that, it. That's not the way it works, though. No. <laughs> no, but in my head, I was, I was in such a bad mood. I had to keep digging a hole, so I decided to walk home from Belfast City Airport. He walked? I walked oh. home in the rain. Okay, I mean, not that far. For a second, I thought it was international. I was no, like, Belfast City. are you walking on the hard shoulder of the motorway? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I walked home, uh, got a text from the comedy, comedy people, everything sorted, mate. Let us know if you're coming tomorrow. I know I have a dilemma, am I going back on the Saturday? Now, bear in mind, he'd messaged me on the Wednesday going, you free any chance at Saturday for the Millennium Forum in Derry? And I was like, sorry, man, I'm not. I'm in London, right? So in my head, it was like, oh, fuck, I fucking could have gone up to Derry with Shane on the Friday. But these, look, these things, have, I've got to honour my bookings, you know, that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. So I get home anyway, order a Chinese from the Chinese place. Oh, yeah. Refuse to pay the delivery guy. <laughs> <you're doing laughs> <it. Yeah. laughs> Put the heat on, close the curtains. And I watched it. It didn't come, he'd been de-Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> there was some doesn't happen. You now just gets D. Oh, here I heard a great one. Do you ever this do you ever know what this is a great one, right? Okay. This is a great one. Right? <laughs> here, tell us it's a great one. This is a great one, right? Yeah. Uh, this fella put a thing up on his Facebook. Does anyone know of a Chinese near me? And this mate put a number down and it was his mobile. And someone rang his mobile and he went, How oh, can I order a Chinese? He's like, Yeah, yeah, what Chinese do you want? He goes, Yeah, I'll be with you in twenty minutes. Yeah, just pay cash door. And then an hour later your man puts up, Chinese hasn't arrived, he just rang his mate and he put on a different fucking voice. He was winding them up. Oh. Okay, I thought that was funny. <laughs> I mean, of all the stories to start with, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> um, you yeah. never do that. You never go on stage and go, I've got a funny story coming up. <laughs> so what I like is every that you angry. ordered the Chinese because that's such a like ma of four angry, angry move man. Angry to man. just be like, I, I said, I can get the Chinese. Yeah, it fixes everything. Fuck that. I get the, yeah, and so, I bet you got a big Chinese too. Oh, oh spare yeah. ribs and everything, mate. Mm -hmm. Half oh, and yeah. half. Anyway, long story short, I looked at the prices for the following day and I went, you know what? I'm making a decision here. I'm in foul mood <laughs> and... I, 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 I'm I not doing it. Yeah. I sorted the comedy clubs. First time ever, ever happening. They were all like absolutely buzzing. Don't worry about it. Because London's good. unlike here. If someone cancels last minute, it's so easy to get a yeah. replacement. And London is easy enough as well. Like they got Tom uh, Green from the comedy store. So right. it was grand. But it was just like, it was everything I I go against. Yeah, happened yeah, Happened to yeah. me like, you know. So you're currently in the process of just getting stuck in the easy jet and getting that no, money no, back no sorry do you know what probably made him more annoyed mm. I texted him then on the Saturday oh you fucker yeah and went hi mate because um, I knew obviously from you that he, he hadn't gone <laughs> yeah that's true and I said listen mate I've brought a diamond and Keezy opening tonight Millennium Forum Keezy's all sorted I haven't heard from Brona to confirm with her and she, she hasn't got back to me um, if, if for whatever reason she can't do it or I don't hear from her could you could you do the gig and he just texts me something like, ready and willing. 
You know what I mean? It was like yes. it was like a military thing. Yes, he is. He's like good to go. He's yeah. like I'm I'm he was sitting with his coat on by the door. Absolutely. And it was two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I actually, he's in there. I actually Googled the traffic <laughs> from my house to Derry for any delays. See about thirty seconds after I sent that to him, Bruno replied and went, Yeah, it's all good, I'm ready in Derry. So I texted him and was like, Could you looks like she might not be are you okay? And he's like, Yes, ready and then three seconds later I was like, Oh, she can do it. Got, got another Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Just every time something bad happens, you're like, well. Yeah. So the process has started now with the airline. The, the process has begun. Oh, it's easy jet are going to go out of business. And by the way, yeah. that's a good thing. Because that airline, at the minute, is not fit for purpose. No. Stelios, if you're still running it, sort it out. Yeah. Sort it out. Yep. I fly with EasyJet 50 times a year. And I'm telling you, 44 of those times out of 50 are perfect. But the, the, the six times, it fucking fucks me like I have a wee holiday booked mm -hmm. in a few weeks nice pretty soon with the family we we small holiday I know it's not, I, it's not gonna work the flights won't the flights one flight is EasyJet one flight's Ryanair and it won't happen something yeah. will I'm going EasyJet to Greece and Julie my girlfriend's like oh can't wait to go on this holiday we're gonna be great and it's gonna be great and all that and I, go, and I just said to her yesterday we were walking around uh, Sports Direct and, cool dude uh, and uh I was looking for trainers and I said they're the trainers that I wanted and I said to Julie I guarantee you won't have my size because I said this is just my look <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you won't have my size so I looked to your man and I went down the boucher I was down the boucher right and I said uh, can I have these in a size 10 he went yeah and I goes I guarantee you 100% you won't have my size he came back and he goes we've only got a 9 and 11 oh. and I went with size 10 I goes oh fuck could you go one of each so <laughs> detrainered you yeah. anyway <laughs> so <laughs> Our flight is at lunchtime going to Rhodes from the International and I just said to Julie, I said, just lower our expectations with the travel mm. because... She's excited about the holiday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but yeah. I know. Like, like I agree with you, Shane. You're a realist. You have to go in and go expect the shit. So like, if it does go on time, it's amazing. And if it's it does bonus. go on time, like, I'm so happy. But see, right, like, I have, I have long legs. See, mm. Ryanair, oh... And also, Ranner, don't have a wee net to put your passport or anything in or anything. And I booked it through a third party thing, so it's not even letting me pick my seats for EasyJet or Ranner. Oh wait, wait, wait. You're going to be at the front and your kids are going to be like. Are you doing a package? Like, did you just buy baggage? a package or something? No, no. No. Yeah. Disaster. But we we'll had to fiddle with the flights quite a bit. Yeah. Where are you going? Majorca. Nice. Beautiful island. Beautiful island. I've probably been <laughs> 20 times. Beautiful yeah. island. I love it. If I had yeah. the. If you went. You've won a competition. Say Blast 106 we're running for Toxic we're running a competition. <laughs> yes. To win a foreign property house. Like that's the name of it. Uh -huh. It could have been the cash call. This is win a foreign the holiday FPH. house. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I would pick probably New York. Yeah. Colin Meany lives out there. In New York? He has a house in New York. He lives out there six months a year. Colin Meany, the actor. No. Yeah, yeah. Lives in New York. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but he's up in the country. He's He did an interview. He was saying, I live in New York. I said, why would I live there full of Irish? And is he Magaluf? No, I don't know where. No, he's in a quiet. He's, he's in a quiet area. Call me in Magaluf, six months a year. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely flat Residency out. in BH, <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aaron, which island? Which if you're you're Mallorca, yeah. if you were to be given a house, yeah. where would you? Epstein's. Go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to finish off the good work. I know. <laughs> I want to see good. somewhere new. All right, and I want to go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, Yaz Island in Dubai. It's a good one. Has the, has Ferrari World and all out there and all that stuff. Have you been to Dubai? Yeah, once. My tour show is on sale now. Whoa, look at that! Nice, in Dubai, nice QE2 transition. theater. Yeah, check it out. That's gonna be great, man. If I I'm actually um, I know it sounds a bit mad now, like, but um, I'm thinking about buying a new moving ne moving next year, moving house. Buying a new moving next year. Bu buying or Use buying it. I was thinking, of, thinking about buying a new house next year, like moving to a new First of all, can I just say that place, Yaz Island, you wouldn't want to have a house there, though. No. You, the novelty would wear off. Yeah, So I want you to answer his question. Oh, right. So I have to have a house there. You're I thought you win Blast 106, win a foreign property abroad. Sorry. Where, would you, where, where would you want it? Oh, I just put it in Disney World. Easy access. Uh, yeah. The, he, the, the man lived on the grounds of Disney World. Who? Me? Yeah. That's fine. What's, what's wrong with liking the magic? It's okay to like Disney. Yeah. To live there. Yeah. Look, every day is a great day if you live there. You know what I mean? It's all about dreams. Yeah. Why he's all against dreams? Orlando. Let's say Orlando. Sure. I'm going to take the fun out of it. The, the, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. But uh, NSYNC are back together. I'm very excited I'm about me it. Oh, see, when they tour, can yeah. we go? 
I promise I will make this. I promise you, which is an insane <laughs> song. The, and the, I, I will take you <laughs> in my own. I if they're playing in America somewhere or whatever and they've a tour date I will go with we'll you we'll do a Europe tour we'll go. Europe. if they do a Europe tour I don't know man NSYNC might not do a Europe Till leg the day my life is through ba, ba, ba. Yes, I promise you. shittest NSYNC song of all time don't know what it's called but I remember on the album when I was a kid there was one that started like this and I never got past the first two lines of it it went uh, it, it was like <laughs> Millennium, here we come, <laughs> and everyone's talking about Jerusalem. I never listen past that. Is that for real? Yeah, lyrics yeah, 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 that song? yeah, yeah. As soon as I get home, I'm um, listening to it right away. You're thinking of moving or buying a property? Where are yeah. you away from here? Um, yeah, I was thinking about maybe going outside Belfast to, to give the health system a chance. To <laughs> <laughs> countryside to get more GPs. Think about going to countryside. Get a third. Yeah, maybe a bit out. We're kind of looking at a few places. In the See, north I worry or south? about I oh, worry about north. you having more time and quiet. And your thoughts creeping in. <coughs> yeah. You're in the city at the minute, kind of. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Yeah. It keeps you distracted. Yeah. yeah. Last thing you, you get need. out there, you can't hear anything. I actually want to move to a golf club. I want to live n like near a golf club. Oh, yeah. I? That's different. You made it sound like you'd be on the yeah, drive. I want to move somewhere <laughs> where I can like walk to the golf course or something. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's where I get a lot of But I've actually looked at um, uh, buying an apartment in Portugal. <gasps> Delamora? Right. No. Uh, uh, well, we looked at two places. One is uh, in uh, Mijas, in mm. south of Spain, and over in, in Portugal Do you as like well. Mijas? I've been to Mijas a few times, yeah. Yeah. Is it what is it you like it's about Mijas? Mijas? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so what do you do in Mijas? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot of tight roads, but if you wiggle your way around, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably, uh, there are many people in It's Mijas. very open. <laughs> yeah, you're very open. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy access in the yeah. BS, is what I would say. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about either invest, buying a, a one or two bed apartment yeah. and going out there and also have it to give to family members as well. Mm. Me and, and friends? Julie, me and Julie were thinking, and friends, yeah, families and stuff. Would you not hate that though? Imagine like, see me and him go, right? Yeah. Or no problem. I'll have cameras like. Oh, weird. <laughs> Indoor? In the bedroom. Well, I, I, there'd be a rule book like. Just... Oh, Just the rule book's gonna stop me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, we can't have fun. It's in the rule book. I would, I would hate that. I would fucking hate yeah. my friends to be at a holiday. No, it'd be I'm... fine. It'd be fine. I, I, I would have a zero emotional attachment to it. It's just mostly a place mm. where I can go and chill, and also give to my family, give to my friends, and say, look, there's the keys. Take the kids out. Take your family. Take if you want to go out, just leave it in the same state you found it. Mm. I have ten that out kind of ten etiquette with stuff like that. Yeah. And if also, I stand there, well, I do. Find it the plan I was thinking was like buy a car for like two grand, just have a car there, and say to everyone, just "We feel panda or something." Yeah, that's something that get get people around and uh, just go out. And then, if you think about it, like you could go out and get cheap furniture and have it nicely furnished, and have a lot of, and just jump on a cheap flight and go. Look, I'm going to go Thursday and come back Monday. Stay and and just have a little calendar and give it to me. So it'll give me fifty quid for it. Just cover the bills for that week or something. You know, Would you take fifty quid off people for. That? Yeah, I would yeah. Money joking. That's <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> it's really reasonable. I'd yeah. love to do something like that, like something like that, because I love. Yeah. I'm gonna go away in January again for a week, and Google yesterday. Where would you recommend January for a week? Because I typed in where is hot in January, and it's always fucking South America. I was thinking Tenerife. That's kind of boom. Where Tenerife, Los Cristianos, yeah. Playas Las Americas, a decade. Is it hot in January in Tenerife? Hot all year round, my friend. Tenerife so and Lanzarote, but Lanzarote, fierce wind. Fucking hate Lanzarote. Lanzarote's bullshit. I, I've I said think Lanzarote's a shithole. Lanzarote's shit. I've done Lanzarote three times, most boringest island of all the islands. Tenerife is great. Yeah. So Tenerife, January. It'll be Russian. We'll yep. go. We'll do a boys' trip, Tenerife. Yeah. Me and you. Yeah. Yeah. We'll wear these shirts. Yeah. Go to a water plaza. Plaza de Americas. Would you like to go on holiday with him? Play us last 100%. 100%. Now, if we went on holiday. Yeah. There would be very strict guidelines negotiated beforehand. Absolutely. Yeah. So, for example, no boxers. We, I don't think we would do well in a. We would have to be in a hotel, separate rooms. Like Absolutely. You'd have, to be, you'd have to, and we'd only meet up at the certain designated times. Different floors of the hotel. Yeah, like I would say, like I, I'll see you for lunch then, and then we yeah. do lunch, and then it'd be like, what are we doing this afternoon? We go right, but I just, but I see you tonight, and you'd have to have four or five hours separate, like. Right, right. And yeah. you'd like, you'd appreciate that as well. Yeah, a lot of like separation. A lot of separation on. And then some coming together. Right, plus that's America's only thing. Long flight. Yeah, is four it? And a, half hours. Is it like a rave city? Oh, that's is not it a party town? Nope. Family. It is like in season. There's a wee strip of ours that would be pretty lively, but even there, not really. Jumping jacks, that's one of them. I remember there. So. Okay, Tenerife. People were doing gonna a look at crack. Going to look at Tenerife Hippie now. crack? You know, like the nitrous oxide? 
I don't know that's what it's called mm. so know. Tenerife so I'm, go, I'm going to the Rugby World Cup final at the end of October I've no tickets um, <laughs> but he's gone but I've booked the flights and hotel and then I'm doing Berlin as well you know how that's going to finish you sitting in a French hotel room with a big Chinese raging <laughs> <laughs> de-ticketed <laughs> <laughs> the, um, I think it's yeah. do a ticket um, <laughs> and then you're going to Berlin to the Bur the Bur I'm going to I'm going to Greece Berlin and Paris in the one month what are you going to Berlin for? Uh, me and Julie are going away with her cousin and partner we're going for just uh, they're going three to nights, dirty just, night clubs with army three, three nights of just debauchery learning all about history and stuff mm -hmm. and drinking yeah. and mm -hmm. having to crack I bet mm -hmm. the crack um, <laughs> Aaron you got anything you want to plug or promote? And Sank are getting together again. I'll be there at some point. I'm sure they'll appreciate that's that. That's all that's all I want to say. Shout out to our boy JC, Joey Fatone. Fatone. Andrew Ryan, your special is out. Yeah, I released a special. A uh, big thank you to everyone that's watched it so far. It's on YouTube. It's free. Didn't and think the editing was great. <laughs> no, me too. <laughs> that dodgy <laughs> camera work. Um yeah, but it's doing great numbers and it's on uh, listen, YouTube for free. It's for free and I just wanted to get rid of it and get it out there and to people watch it and thank you to everyone that's watched it. And my podcast Cork of the North and uh, thank you so much. There you go. Slow Cheers, back. guys. Uh, thank you very everybody for watching, listening. Um, have you have you, are you any shows on sale? Um, I'm currently writing a new show at the moment, so I'm only doing club gigs where I'm testing out material. But I'm announcing a tour for 2024. All so right, pretty soon. Love that. Thank you, guys. Peace out. I'm off for an MRI. <laughs>